what is up guys my name is Aiden and welcome to the first Elden Wing video here on the channel now I'm gonna be honest I have been absolutely loving this game this game is absolutely amazing and I've been doing a lot of things to help my character personally level up and in this video I'm gonna be showing you guys what you can do in order to essentially get the same effect as me get a ton of runes and obviously level up your character in the process now before I show you how you can do this I just want to show you how effective this is currently at the time of me making this video and at the time of this recording, I have a total of 419,000 runes. That's absolutely insane. That is a lot. And right now, it's costing me around 40,000 runes to level up with me being at the current level of 80. So this is a very effective method in order to level up as fast as possible and collect a lot of runes. And now that we kind of have that showcase out of the way, let's go ahead and dive into how you can do this for yourself. So first things first, you're going to need a few things. Make your way over to the the church of ella right here which is going to be the first kind of church or like area that you can get to after the first step you can fast travel there if you want or you can just run there if you really desire but once you get to this location you're going to run right in here and talk to this merchant go ahead and open up his shop right here and get yourself some arrows now you can carry a total of 99 of these at a time so i would just go ahead and pick up 99 and that's gonna cost you around 19 180 runes go ahead and purchase those arrows and once you buy those you're going to want to fast travel to the next location which is going to be the one the only round table hold once you get to the round table hold go ahead and make a left through this pathway right here and go ahead and talk to these creepy looking ladies right here open up the thing open up their shop and purchase yourself the longbow now you will need a bow for this method a crossbow will work or if you have a a higher level bow you can go ahead and purchase that but this is just the easiest one and this is the one that the most people can go ahead and pick up once you have those two things you should be set and ready to go after you get yourself the bow and some arrows you're going to want to make your way to the dynasty mausoleum midpoint if you don't know how to get here what i recommend doing is just searching up a guide it is kind of complicated and i'm not going to cover it here in this video but i will be uploading a tutorial here in this channel soon so stay tuned for that make sure you have all notifications on and if you're watching this video like one or two days after it's uploaded it's probably up on my channel so consider checking that out but then travel through here until you get to the mogwin palace or more specifically the palace approach ledge road there's going to be a side of grace here just go ahead and rest at it and then you're going to want to rearrange your inventory real quick what i recommend doing is putting your bow with your shield just binding it to that location and putting away your sword completely because this next part is going to get a little bit difficult at first, but once you get the hang of it, you should be pretty good. As you can see, there's going to be a bunch of enemies right down in this location, and if you actually turn off this corner, there's going to be this giant chicken in this lake that you can actually target, or I guess focus on, from this ledge specifically. Now, the location that I'm standing in is going to be just right here. I mean, you can do this from multiple locations on this ledge, but I found that this place works the best, and what you guys are going to want to go out ahead and do is simply rest at the site of grace and then as soon as you rest at the site of grace go ahead and exit it run to the location on the cliff side that is just right here target that chicken shoot a bow at it and it should hit the chicken the chicken's gonna sprint at you and then of course it's going to fall off the ledge and if you take a look at my runes they're actually going up right now you'll get around 11,000 runes per kill and then of course you can also bind this with a few different talesmen to get even more runes as the chicken is falling go ahead and actually run back to the site of grace rest on it and completely do the process over and over again sometimes the chicken won't fall off but the moment that it does fall off you just want to go ahead and rest at the site of grace and just like that you guys will actually get an infinite amount of runes it literally is as simple as that and this is probably the fastest rune guide out there right now if you guys do have any other fast guides that you would like me to cover just let me know down in the comment section below and i'd be more than happy to cover them here on this channel plus you may even give someone else the tips that they need that being said stay tuned for more elden ring content i'm absolutely loving this game so i'm definitely going to be covering more of it here on this channel before you leave consider leaving a like on this video sharing with some friends and of course subscribing if you guys are brand new for even more content just like this and i hope to see you guys in the next video peace